everyone. This is Soviet Bear, and today this is a special guest I have um, on my channel. His first time on my channel. His name is Vladimir Larin. He is uh, originally from Kiev, Ukraine, but right now currently he lives in Russia. He's got his own YouTube channel, Patsan TV, and um, <clears throat> he's a video blogger and alternative media video blogger. And he he tells us about uh, events, the events in Ukraine, and from his perspective. So, Vladimir, please introduce yourself, what you are doing, and how did you how did it started? And uh, please uh, go on. Yeah, hello everyone. It's really nice for me to be here on uh, Soviet Bear Channel. <laughs> yeah, I'm Vladimir Larin, <laughs> mostly known. In uh, on the internet, like uh, Valodya Zakivan, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like Prince Vladimir. <laughs> that was. <laughs> um, I started my career, yeah, on YouTube uh, after the Euro Maidan. As uh, I was not satisfied by the American invasion uh, in the at the heart of Ukraine, and uh, as uh, far as I knew all the media technologies uh, like uh, social media marketing for example or public public relations uh, I worked uh, um, somewhere uh, and so um, as I know uh, how the media could affect the people's brain I started the project that was called uh, prevolution like our revolution where I just try to explain to people uh, how the revolution is really made. As uh, to my opinion, uh, Euromaidan was just uh, the perfect uh, TV picture. Yes, so there were just uh, some uh, radicals, yeah, who ruined everything, yeah, who uh, fought it with policemen, and. Or everything uh, was just made by the television, by the streamers, by different videos, by social networks. And uh, so, um, I first of all, I um, told people uh, about the tech camp. Uh, that was the project uh, of uh, the uh, USA Embassy, and uh, uh, that was... Uh, made for seems for three or even more years uh, in uh, post uh, soviet countries and uh, on the uh, last tech camp uh, uh, all those young people were taught first of all how to behave uh, um, how to make the revolution in the streets yeah how to run away for example uh, how to even make those fire uh, fire bombs in bottles uh, uh, and as well how to uh, make uh, the uh, how to correct uh, yeah uh, the opinion of people on the internet just by, for example with likes or unlikes and some other cases and so that was just my idea to show people not to be idiots as um, uh, the real uh, side here yeah, uh, is another and uh, so um, after after that uh, I came to Austria, yeah, I had different meetings there also and uh, spoken to the people of Austria about uh, the problems in Ukraine, yeah, and after I came back to Kyiv, um, I met with my friend uh, and he just asked me, so uh, you were in uh, Europe, you know, and, and as you know, the first idea of Euromaidan was the Euro integration, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, she asked me, so can you tell me if anyone is waiting for Ukraine there? I say no, they have their own problems and they do not need uh, the Ukrainian prostitute there, as uh, <laughs> there is enough. <laughs> and uh, he asked me, can you tell please uh, that you know that uh, most of people is just a crowd of sheep. If, just imagine, if you were talking to all those sheep, how will you say that? And... Um, so I've spoken for about of 10 minutes. <laughs> he made a video as he told me that we'll just look after what it likes. And uh, sometime later, I discovered it on the internet <laughs> with more than 70,000 <laughs> views. <laughs> and then I understand that uh, maybe it will be a good idea um, to explain people uh, the situation in the 
um, root language, yeah, with some slang words, uh, <laughs> and as it works like virus video, so the Pakistan TV YouTube channel uh, was born. Yeah, so great. That's a good story. Look, <clears throat> could you please explain to us your civic, civil position? What do you see? Where do you see Ukraine? How do you see its future? You know, it's somewhat clear to me that you are not pro-EU. You oppose uh, the current government, which is now in Kiev, and you are not, uh, you know, you are not so pro-Russia either. I mean, you are you you stand for some sort of neutral Ukraine, which benefits from both sides, from both East and West. Is that correct or not? Uh, yeah, you have right. Um, to my opinion, uh, the real um, step uh, for Ukraine's future, I'm not sure that uh, we can do it now. Um, we, we could try, of course. Uh, but on the time of the conflict, yeah, on the conflict on Maidan, uh, all the people, yeah, believed in the Euro integrations. But no one really read all the document what uh, those association with European Union really means. Most of them just thought that uh, they would uh, will get uh, uh, free visas, yeah, um, they, they could um, go there without visa to European countries and they will have uh, the average uh, European salary with, for example, 1,000 euro or 2,000 euro and nothing more. No one read the document. No one un understand uh, the real uh, the real idea of it. They just as always believe to medias, uh, as well as uh, no one knew and you and no one wanted to hear what was proposed by the Russia Federation. And as far I don't know if you know that uh, that was proposed also the discount of for gas. Yeah. were also um, proposed uh, the credits uh, uh, on much uh, better conveniences that were proposed uh, a little bit later by the European Union. So yeah. people just didn't want to know that. And uh, this is why, to my mind, it's because of the uh, geolo of Ukraine's uh, geolocation here. Yeah, it's on the border of uh, Eastern Europa and... Uh, I can say it's Rob, of Russia, <laughs> yeah, and, and, uh, Europe. and the other Europe, yeah. And uh, as it is on the border, it could uh, live much better, as uh, we could cooperate with both sides, yeah. yeah. Um, for example, even in the Soviet times, yeah, Ukraine was uh, the very rich country, as we had uh, the great agriculture complex. We had uh, the great, we had many factories, we produced uh, many, many um, other gods. Are the goods so yeah. heavy machinery? Even, uh, machinery, yes. And uh, although it's now everything was ruined, uh, we could even mm, uh, just uh, be. Uh, we, we do not need military bases here. Yeah? For ex uh, instead of that, we could, for example, uh, get. Uh, uh, some companies, yeah, international companies who could sell its goods, yeah, uh, we could make like international, we could place the international market uh, here in Ukraine, uh, where uh, people of, uh, the manufacturers of Russia could uh, sell their products where the manufacturer of uh, European Union could um, as well sell, uh, and uh, as well as uh, we could get money from both sides, from Russia and from NATO countries, uh, for not to put some others military bases. We don't need money for uh, for weapon. So why do we need uh, money and get the bases as we could get just money without any bases? No one could said could thought that. That's why and. Uh, um, as well as uh, Ukraine is uh, a good, attractive place as well for tourists, for example. Uh, that was uh, Crimea, yeah, now it's Russia. Uh, there were the woods, some kind of uh, historical interest. Um, so that was also good, for example, for people of uh, Russia to go to Carpathian Mountains here yeah, for ski resorts. Uh, and now, uh, it's, it isn't said on TV, but now all the people of uh, Western uh, Ukraine are really crying because uh, of uh, uh, the Russian didn't come to Carpathian Mountain, they didn't earn money. 
yeah, didn't spend the... And not just Western Ukraine. Finland, for example, all of Europe, I think, they are losing Russian tourists, and they suffer because of it, and because of uh, country sanctions and stuff, but it's a different story. So, what else I'd like to ask you? What do you think about this conflict and about the whole thing, the whole crisis? Um, how do you think it's it is going to be resolved and um, and uh, what do you think is the future of the um, Donetsk and Lugansk republics? Uh, do you view them as uh, separatists or, or do you think it's their will to you know to secede from the rest of Ukraine? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll start with the question uh, about Donbass. Um, yeah. You know, I always had the opinion that uh, um, everyone uh, should decide uh, what to do uh, on his own land. My own land is Kiev, when, and uh, other people have their homeland like Donbass region. Uh, that's why I didn't spoke much about uh, Donbass, as uh, if people of Donbass who live there, yeah, who work there, uh, they were burn uh, on uh, that on that land, and they will die on that land. So they should decide by themselves uh, what will be there in the future. Of course, they are not the separatists, as uh, we know the conflict that was started on Donbass. People, as well as people in, uh, for example, Western U Western Ukraine, didn't uh, want uh, uh, Yanukovych as president. People on Donbass, as well, didn't want just the new government. Uh, that came uh, after the revolution. So they didn't want to be Russian, uh, the region of Russian Federation. They no, didn't want to be for the separate state, first of all. So uh, we can say that uh, the uh, Donetsk Republic and the Lugansk Republic uh, nowadays are made just uh, because uh, of Ukrainian government. They just wanted to do that. As well as uh, Ukraine uh, wanted to uh, give uh, Crimea like a big gift uh, to Mr. Putin, yeah, as uh, uh, Ukrainian uh, always cry, uh, Russia stole Crimea. Who can say me? if anyone of Ukrainians came to the border of uh, you, uh, with Crimea, for example, even with stick, yeah, with a stone, uh, and tried um, to protect it, no one did that. So how they could tell about invention if uh, they didn't do anything? Yeah, they just didn't want to protect it. That that's not invention. That is a gift as well as Donbass. Um, yeah, uh, Donbass is uh, just uh, the good example uh, that uh, Ukraine uh, really needs um, uh, the federated system uh, because. Uh, uh, people uh, have to want, want to have a right on the land uh, because, for example, if Donbass uh, before uh, Euromaidan was one of the richest regions in Ukraine, yeah, uh, all the money almost that were paid uh, to the center, yeah, uh, to the budget of Ukraine mostly was made by the Donbass region, and but they didn't get nothing for themselves. So uh, why could why should it be there? Uh, they did just they just didn't agree with it. Um, I don't I don't know if um, uh, Donbass will be uh, the the part of Russian Federation as uh, actually um, I think that Russia just doesn't need it because uh, it's really ruined region um, with the lost economy and um, the separate state. Uh, to my mind, uh, the best is uh, to make uh, Donbass like it was the Crimea before. Yeah, um, of course, yeah, many, many people died there, but uh, I can say that uh, in today's uh, Donbass government, uh, everything also is not clear. There's also the highest level of corruption here. Yeah, they always, uh, that is always most of things uh, are controlled by Ukrainian oligarchs, yeah, who also control the other territory of Ukraine. Um, yeah, they pay with rubles there, yeah, uh, they study Russian, yeah, but uh, they still live like Ukrainians there. Yeah.